prayer for backsliding, backsliders prayer. My almighty Father God, today I come into your holy presence, to kindly ask you for your mighty help. Through my entire life I have been fighting temptations, leading me into sin, and ending up backsliding again. I do confess with my mouth that I am a follower of your divine Son Jesus, but my backsliding testifies against me, reminding me that I am not living in holiness. Even more, that I am a children of disobedient, as clearly stated in Ephesians 2, 2. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, Satan, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. My holy great one Father God, I am so tired of continuous failings. Every time I fall into sin, I have a conviction that this time will be different, after repenting and confessing them. But sadly, after a couple of weeks, I end up falling into temptation again, turning me into a backslider, and your holy word testify against me, as written in Jeremiah 2.19. Your own wickedness will correct you, and your backslidings will rebuke you. Know therefore and see, that it is an evil and bitter thing, that you have forsaken the Lord your God, and the fear of me is not in you. Says the Lord God of hosts. Which is confirmed in Jeremiah 14, 7. O Lord, though our iniquities testify against us, do thou it for thy name's sake, for our backslidings are many. We have sinned against thee. Every time after backsliding, I repent of my sins and confess them to you, my Lord Jesus, and when you cleanse me of all unrighteousness, I feel alive again in the spirit, but sadly after a couple of weeks, I end up backsliding again, falling into temptation. But every backsliding is much worse than the previous ones, because more unclean spirits get into me, due to my sins and uncleanness, as clearly stated in Matthew 12 43-45. When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest, and finds none, then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it empty, swept, and put in order. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So shall it also be with this wicked generation. My mighty holy of holies, I do not want to make sinning a practice for my life as written in 1 John 3, 8-9. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning, for God's seed abides in him, and he cannot keep on sinning, because he has been born of God. My Holy Lord, I do want to receive your discipline, as written in Hebrews 12, 6-8. For the Lord disciplines the one he loves, and punishes every son he receives. Endure suffering as discipline. God is dealing with you as sons. For what son is there, that a father does not discipline? But if you are without discipline which all receive, then you are illegitimate children and not sons. My Lord of hosts, I do confess that I need the fear of the Lord in me, as written in Proverbs 1, 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And in Proverbs 8, 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way and the froward mouth, do I hate, as well as in Matthew 10:28, and fear not them which kill the body, 
but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And also stated in Ecclesiastes 12.13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, fear God, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Confirmed in Job 28.28. 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. And in Proverbs 14.26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. My holy great one Father God, please put the fear of the Lord in my mind and heart. Make it stronger inside of me, so that I can stand firm against temptations, in my Lord Jesus' name. My holy Lord, please take away all filthy images out of my mind, all the desires of the flesh out of me, all sinful lust, all sinful unclean thoughts, and unrighteous feelings out of me, as well as everything that is unholy, in my Lord Jesus' name. My mighty Lord, please take away the root of evil, that is making me backslide, remove from my life the seed of evil, that is fueling the vicious circle of backsliding, in my Lord Jesus' name. My almighty holy God, I do know, that I cannot overcome temptation on my own strength, but I also do know, that no temptations can stand before your mighty strength, so I humbly ask you, to please provide me with your mighty strength, and make it a part of me, in my Lord Jesus' name. My divine Holy Lord, your word declares that you will hear all backsliders, who sincerely repent, as written in Hosea 14, 4. I will heal their backsliding, I will love them freely, for mine anger is turned away from him and in Jeremiah 15 19-21. Therefore this is what the Lord says, If you repent, I will restore you, that you may serve me. As well as in Jeremiah 3 22. Return, you backsliding children, and I will heal your backslidings. As well as in, in Proverbs 28 13. If you don't confess your sins, you will be a failure. But God will be merciful if you confess your sins, and give them up. And confirmed in 2 Chronicles 7.14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. And in 1 John 1. 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. My Lord of hosts, please put a strong mighty barrier around me, make me fear you my Lord, make the fear of the Lord be one of the stronger defenses inside of me, and make me hate the desires of the flesh, all uncleanness and unrighteousness as well as willful sins, and I humbly ask you to put your holy thoughts in my mind, and your holy feelings in my heart, in my Lord Jesus' name. My holy mighty Lord, please remove every root of evil out me, out of my mind, heart, soul, spirit and body, home and family, in my Lord Jesus' name. My divine Lord Jesus, from the deepest of my heart, I do not want my sinful will, be done for my life, instead please make your holy divine will be done in my life, guide my thoughts and feelings, my steps, decisions and behavior, as well as my mouth and words. My Lord God Jesus, I give you my heart, my whole being and life, home and family. Today, I renounce Satan and all his demons, to worldly things, the sinful desires of the flesh, and all kind of evil, in my Lord Jesus' name. 
I invite you, my Holy Lord Jesus to live in my heart, and I invite the Holy Spirit of God Almighty to live within my body, in my Lord Jesus' name. My Holy Great One Father God, please make me automatically reject the desires of the flesh and the desires of this world. Please change me from the deepest of my heart, mind and soul, and make me feel attraction for holiness, to all that is holy, and rejection to all that is unholy. My mighty holy Lord, please make me rejoice, every time I overcome temptation, like our brothers and sisters of the Bible's generations, making me feel big happiness inside of me, and wonderful feeling of wellness and completeness, because the divine spirit of yours, my Lord Jesus remains in my heart, and the Holy Spirit of God Almighty remains within my body, yes both of you remain in me, and rejoice with me in victory over temptation, and no temptations, no uncleanness, no unrighteousness, no evil powers, and nothing will separate me from you, my almighty holy God. I pray all of these in the mighty name of my Lord God and Saviour Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Amen. EternalWord.org Powerful Prayers for a Better Life Like, Share, Comment and Subscribe